I never was far-sighted uh, enough to say what, what what's going to become of these things. And when you get to be an octogenarian, you, you know that uh, that hey, uh, what can I, what, what, where could I find a home for these? And San Jose, I mean San Francisco's uh, airport, they built a replica of the original uh, terminal building, and they were they were interested in history. They wanted to do so. I uh, we approached it, and I had help. I had help from uh, William T. Larkins. He's going to speak later. He's the he's the the greatest aviation and photographer that's still alive and kicking in these United States. And and he and his wife Tilly, uh, they we we were friends, and and they had connections with with uh, with SFO, and between uh, Tilly and Bill and me, we. We, we made inroads and SFO uh, museums would accept my collection of, of uh, these commercial aircraft, which was very, uh, I was very fortunate because there are people all around the planet, Germany and Russia and Africa and Australia, you name it, Paris. They've built a lot of nice models, but they haven't had the good fortune to be able to find a, 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 a permanent home for all their work. And uh, I, I feel that I'm really blessed that I was able to take all the fun, because this wasn't work for me, it was a hobby I enjoyed. I did it because I wanted to do it. But <clears throat> to find a home for them, to know that they weren't wind, gonna wind up in the junk heap or out in the Amazon for sale and little individual items. So uh, I am really uh, most fortunate to uh, have found this museum and uh, this venue. And, uh, but what more can I say? A pretty, a very lucky guy. <laughs>